title is going to be what to do when a girl rubs you the wrong way. You know, okay. <laughs> Go for it. Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. <laughs> and my Playboy's buddy. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. What to do when a girl rubs you the wrong way. <laughs> We're doing this topic because it cracked him up so much that we can't not cover it. When I was reading the topic, it goes, if a girl starts pushing for commitment or rubbing you the wrong way, give her a gift, the gift of missing you. (laughs) It's kind of cruel, but it's, it's, you know, what you should do. Yeah. I mean, we've already talked about, like, if you're not a commitment guy, how to ethically and in a way that doesn't hurt anyone involved to avoid the commitment you know yeah you it's basically an early frame announcement that you're a fun guy you're here to have a good time but you're definitely not boyfriend material right that way there's never in 12 weeks there's no hurt feelings you tried that one with me yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) just that works just uh, i just value my independence And freedom. I've heard that. Oh my God, there's all these women's shoes on my floor now. <laughs> but for those guys, unfortunately, <laughs> if a girl is being rotten mm-hmm. or she is pushing you for commitment and there's nothing, you're, it's not in the direction you're going. Right. You do have to cut her loose. Yeah. You know, for so, for whatever reason, guys like to abuse themselves and other people. They'll like try to keep a girl around. It's true. That's looking for a boyfriend, looking for a husband. Looking for children. Yeah, exactly. You know, but he's too selfish to see it. I mean, if you've had your fun, it's time to cut her loose. Yeah. You know, and, and that's one thing that I have seen probably more in the last couple of years is guys in their 20s or players in their 20s advising other players, hey, if she's a marriage girl, don't string her along. Because right. she only has... She has a small window. It's a small you know? window of of peak fertility. Right. And, and in peak fertility, peak attractiveness. Yeah. And as much as you love that arm candy, there are other girls who aren't necessarily on that baby fever track trying to get you nailed down in marriage so that she can start a family track. But I've seen, we've seen, even among our clientele, multiple men who they can't they can hardly stand the girl they're with but they don't want to start over is what is what it boils down to they just don't want to get back out there and look but they don't want to put a ring on it they don't want to get married they don't want to have children and yet she's getting crazier and crazier as the years go on and making his life even more miserable yeah it's it's truly a vicious cycle it's so bizarre yeah but that that's the real deal is if she's pushing for commitment it's your job and you're not a commitment guy yeah. it's your job to cut her loose yeah you know um and if she's also rubbing you the wrong way which usually comes from her wanting commitment and you not giving in then she becomes kind of an ass about it truly it. makes her start to go crazy yeah it, it makes her go crazy you have to cut her loose yeah and that's that's the real deal and then you just have to deal with that from that point on, you yeah. know. So that's this is not a long, long podcast, but it's very <laughs> to the subject. I mean, that's what you have to kind of look at the whole pictures. For women, they they have a time limit. Yeah. And guys, we don't we don't have we have some time limits, but anytime before well. eighty, you guys can still like start make babies and yeah. start your lives. The girls don't. <laughs> Must be rough. Girls girls are on a. Um, timetable yeah we are if you are not already on our newsletter lists Fort Worth and I each have newsletters um, and all the links are in the description box down below this is the kind of stuff that we talk about him daily me weekly in our newsletters it's it's really deciphering why girls behave the way they do how you can protect yourself and lead her, how you can deal with the ramifications of female actions, how you can control your own, you name it. And it, it applies in work. It applies in romantic relationships. It applies in pickup dating relationships. 
and sex, sex, sex. So we want you to win. If you like this podcast, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. We want you to win. Bye. I haven't been saying bye. Bye.